Hey folks, welcome to another video. Today I have a pair of J. Fitzpatrick shoes. Super nice uh, shoes. Um, the name of the model is the Pullman and the color is burgundy. It has what they call an austerity brogue. Leather soles. You can see that it has a blind stitch. It's, it's covered, very nice. It has brass nails on the toe and on the back. Super nice uh, construction. And it has an individual uh, dust bag for each shoe. And the dust bags are very, very nice, uh, nice feel. And it feels a little bit like like flannel inside. I'm not sure how they do that, or, or fleece. So very nice, very nice dust bags. One detail that I did want to point out, um, you know, some shoes have a, a stitch here on the side so that the uh, tongue doesn't move around. This one um, is, it's nicer. So you see it has a, a little bit of a, a tab in there on the side that then uh, holds it in place. So that's a really, a really neat detail because you don't see an extra set of stitches. Basically there's a tab that goes right here and when they do the stitch, it grabs that tab and it keeps the tongue in place instead of having an extra set of stitches here. The other good thing about that is that the point of movement is all the way down here. So the tongue actually moves down, making it easy to uh, lace your shoes. One thing that I don't like, uh, if you're familiar with the Allen Edmonds shoes, a lot of them have an extra set of stitches right here. And that makes it really hard to put the shoelaces on the bottom two eyelets because the tongue is stitched right there and you have to like push this and, and really play hard to um to uh put the shoelaces in so i really like this design with the uh, tab on the side i really like that so these shoes look excellent and they're new we're just going to be doing a little shining i've already shined the other pair and of course it's not going to look very different because they're brand new uh, but we give it a little bit more shine on the uh, on the toe as you can see um, and that's what we're going to do we also give it a little bit of shine on the on the heel so we're just going to shine them we're going to use the Saphir Hermes red That's a really good color uh, for this. You can see how well it blends with the with the shoe. I've said it before in, in other videos, there is no perfect color, but sometimes there are very good matches. Okay, we're going to brush it. And again, you should have a different, uh, like if you have dark and light uh, shoe cream colors, uh, you should have different uh, brushes. This one I only use for reds and burgundies. The last thing that you want is to have a brush that you use mainly for black <laughs> and then go onto a light color shoe like this and then have a black streak all over your shoe. So be careful if you have uh, light and dark color creams. I 
I showed my um, brushes in a different uh, video on uh, supplies. You may want to take a look at that in my playlist. Uh, but basically I have a brush for blacks, uh, the brush for reds, uh, a brush for browns, uh, like dark browns, and then I have a brush for light, like tan and uh, light browns. So basically four, four main brushes that I use. And you can see how these uh, saphir red really brings out the color in these shoes. It's really nice. Okay, now we're going to apply the wax. And I have uh, Saphir Medal Dior, the mirror gloss, neutral, some cold water. We're gonna start these on the video and then we're going to finish off applying because this just takes a while. Basically, you just want to apply uh, cream uh, or wax on the on the toe and the heel. And actually, usually I, I start with uh, two or three coats. We're gonna keep doing these for a while. I'll just come back when I'm done. Well, this is it. Uh, finished uh, polishing both shoes. Again, these are uh, brand new shoes, so they're nice looking from the beginning. We were just uh, providing some um, shine on the on the toe, and also on the a little bit on the heel.